Welcome back. Uh, where we left off, we just defeated that fucking weird bow dude. And we are moving forward. And our next stop on this crazy train is... Let's go to Rose Town. Let's check back in real quick. We're starting to get to a point in this game where we have a little bit of freedom on the map. We've got some other things we could do. Let's see what all the people have to say here. We're thanking Mario for his good deeds. Found the treasure. Way to go. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I am the greatest. Pathway's still not there. It's okay. Finally home. Yeah, I can see that. But now I can finally go to the forest and chop some wood. Well, you chop your wood. Which one's your grandson? Okay. Well, actually, I wanted to go back to the inn. Forgot to do that. Bye, Dad! Gino, you came back. Mommy! See, I wasn't full of shit. See, Mom? This is the Gino I was talking about. My, what a fabulous costume. It must be kind of hot for a person wearing it, though. Ah, forget it, Mom. All right, Gino, let's play. How I wish I could, but Mario and I must leave now to find the missing star pieces. Star pieces? You mean for, like, shooting stars? What for? Well, how can I explain this? <laughs> well, guys, it's like this. It's how it used to be. But now it's like... <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> Get it? Um, nope. You lost me. Oh, well. To say that if things stay the way they are, your wishes will never come true. What? You mean I'll never be grow up and be cool like you? No one's wishes will come true until star pieces are found and Star Road is repaired. Which is why I've chosen to join these two in order to find the missing star pieces. So that's it. Well, Mario needs all the help he can get. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of dreams. Please go fix Star Road and make sure they all come true. What the hell is Mario doing? That's a promise. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. This is yours, Gino. So take it along with you. Your finger shot. Thanks for being a good sport, guys. I'll see you when I get back. That little squirt gave you a good weapon. Is Link here yet? Nope. Later on, uh, there's a couple visitors to the Mushroom Kingdom as you go along at certain points. And then Rose Town, uh, Link stops by, and uh, somebody from the from space stops by. Okay, uh, let's move on to Moleville, but first we're going to check out the pipe vault. They're going to unlock Yoshir's Isle. Actually, uh, this is the place I was thinking of earlier when I said there was mini games and stuff. It's not necessarily Midas River. The mini game I was thinking of was whack a moles in here. Whoa, shit. Didn't mean to do that. I thought the edge would stop me from falling in, but it didn't. All right, let's fight some fireballs. I forgot to equip his fucking finger shot. It's okay. I'll do it here in a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, 
let's give him wake up pin. Of course, fight and everything. Mess. Ooh, I just didn't have the timing right. Okay. I believe this is another new enemy as well. It's called a flame. Alright, now it's called Sparky. Because a flamer, not a great name for an enemy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the defense up. Damn it! The hell, man. Well, you know what I'm going to do next. If you're familiar with my play style, you know what I'm doing next. Wow, really? I didn't know that. So, a water-based spell does nothing to a fire enemy. That's interesting. I wonder if there was a glitch or there's more to it. Maybe uh, magic attacks are just not effectual against Sparkies. Mallow made it to level 9. Wow. 4. Uh, it's an odd, so we're going with power. Alright, moving on. Are these guys even worth fighting? No, they're not at all. But they only take two seconds to fight, so we're going to grab point of experience and move on. And there's a thwomp here. Hey, I thought if you jump, he won't knock you back. Whatever. I thought you were in the air. Everything's cool, but apparently not. Pretty sure if I jump on the swamp, um, there's something... Nope. Thought there was something up there. Guess not. <laughs> See ya. Another new enemy, the Piranha Plant. Nothing really special about them. And I know they think they have a fire based attack as well. Sometimes after you kill the flower guys, there's hidden pipes there, but I think this is the one to uh, 
that's how you do that guys you run forward and then once you get to close to the end hold down and you'll slide under just make, make sure to keep running and to get up there you run under there press a jump uh, hidden uh, treasure chest here guys another frog coin another one right next to it another frog coin and then there you go you know what I'm doing Wow, what a waste. You pick a mallow. Fuck. Fuckers. Wow! You gotta be ribbing me. This is fucking ridiculous. God, fuck off. A pain in the fucking ass. Come on. I just saw a fucking plant there. There we go. Ten points of damage is nothing to sneeze at, guys. If you're not paying attention to your health, like Gina's on 18 right now, you'll die. Got to pay attention to your health. As easy as this game seems sometimes, remember, they're always chipping down at your health. And if you don't pick up... Now, this is a, uh, you know, a mushroom or something to max out your HP or get a bonus. You got to keep an eye on your health. Anyway, as I started to say, this is a mini game within these uh, this pipe vault place where you can earn, I think, frog coins. Yeah, and it's ten coins each, and it's just basically a mole whacker, but it's a mole running it, so it's goomba whacking. And you just jump on their heads.
and uh, got all the options. And the only thing that was left, they're now left to get at that game, are the frog coins. So if I need frog coins, that's the easiest way to do it. To go back and beat my highest score each time. Tie it or beat it. Whatever. And it ended up being a little more challenging than I remember. Especially with this controller. It's not exactly a, you know, warning controller. It's just a crappy GameStop uh Ten dollar PlayStation Three controller. So nothing special. Great. This should have made if the enemy cast Scarecrow twice, it should have reversed the spell. Just talking here. Just saying. <laughs> also, I guess I could say, yeah, every time uh, the enemy crests the same spell twice, uh, you should win the game, right? <laughs> About time, I was saying it's been a while since it fucking leveled up there. Oh, that's that's a big HP bonus, man. I might have to take that. Yeah, I might have to take that. Or ordinarily the other way around, it was an odd number. Good, he needed that. So right now, guys, we're about two levels ahead of where the game wants you to be. And that's honestly what I recommend uh, for novice players uh, or beginning players first time through this game. Being a little over-leveled definitely helps if you make mistakes. And it, it doesn't hinder you... Uh, the rest of the game for you enjoying it. It's still somewhat of a challenge. It still requires you to think a bit. So, don't worry about that. It's also not so challenging. It's not fun. Man, I don't feel like fighting. Well, I guess I, guess I will. Maybe I didn't feel like fighting them. And we're just about done with the pipe vault here. They tried to fuck you over there with that coin bridge deal. <laughs> Who do they think they're fooling? 
Anyway, when you come out of the pipe here, you've unlocked Yoster's Isle. I'll show it to you real quick before I end this episode. Uh, there is a treasure chest here, a secret treasure chest. I think it's back here. No. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Frog coin. Okay, when you leave here, you're at Yoster's Isle. Basically, there's no boss here. There's not really any side missions here either. But you can... Oh, there's sort of side missions. Optional message, mission, missions. Um, what you can do here uh, is... And I will eventually, not today though. Is uh, you hop on Yoshi, uh, like so. And you can race this dude here, Boshi. And you win Yoshi... Uh, Yoshi cookies, you win frog coins, uh, you win items, I'm pretty sure. I gotta read back up on it to remember, but uh, it's something to do later. And also, you want to come here to get one of the three booze flags. Uh, so, and you press B to jump off of them, and when you're ready to go, just pick uh, one of the exits. And uh, back to the pipe vault. And we will go to Moleville, our next destination. And this is where I'm going to end the episode today. Uh, in our next episode, we're going to check out Moleville. Uh, because there's rumor that the star fell in a mountain. So that's where we're going to head next. And we're, gonna, we're here, so we're going to explore and find out what's going on in Moleville. Alright guys, until next time. It's Croker, and it's always a pleasure. See you.